How long have you been doing this for? Hi, I'm Judy Shaw. I'm on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Joining me today is Brian Cullinan. Brian is with PricewaterhouseCoopers. Right. And tell me what you do with Pricewaterhouse. Well, I'm the managing partner of the Southwest for PwC, but one of the best jobs I have within the firm is to be one of two partners who count the ballots for the Academy Awards. <laughs> so, as you know, the nominations were announced this morning. Right for all of the categories um, and so we just completed the counting for that and we also do the finals which is the show at the end of February where the winners are announced and mm -hmm. the people get the Oscar and so we do the ballot counting for that and so I'm one of two people who know the results ahead of them being announced on stage. Uh, so Matt and I were talking about this. Yeah. How do you get this gig? <laughs> it's a great gig to have as, as we were saying uh, probably the best job you can have as an accountant. Um, I, uh, I happen to work in our entertainment practice in Los Angeles, so proximity is, is always a good thing. So I've been there uh, a, a bunch of years, and uh, we, we always have two partners who are responsible for this. And when my predecessor retired, he handed it off to me um, as, as one of the two leaders. And so mm -hmm. I was very appreciative of the confidence he was showing in me. But somebody's got to do it, and okay. so I was happy to volunteer. So you were just selected by your partner exactly. to be the person who can be entrusted with this position. That's right. Okay. After the academy <laughs> met me and said I was okay. But okay. Yeah, okay. That, so there's a background check for that. A bit of that. <laughs> a bit of that as well. Yeah. Lie detector test. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So tell me how long Price Waterhouse Cooper has been involved in this. So we've been tabulating the ballots for right now 83 years. Uh, this is the 89th Academy Awards. We've been doing it for 83 of those 89 years. So for all but the first six, we've been doing it. I'm the 13th partner in that whole 83-year period who've done it. And we do two at a time. So we don't have that many, ultimately, who've done this over the 83 years. I, I so. can see people not wanting to give up this job. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's one that people will enjoy. And, and like I'm, I'm curious. You said you knew that you're one of two people that know. Right. How soon in advance do you know? Well, so if we talk about the next stage, the finals that are coming up at the end of February, um, when the polls close, close on a Tuesday evening at 5 p.m., we start our counting, our tabulating then. We will be done somewhere around Friday evening, and so we know all the winners by Friday, and the show is on Sunday. So there's a few days in between where we're the only two who know, oh, and wow. nobody else knows, so we keep that secret. Do people know, know you know? Like, they try to, like, they do know. sweet talk you a little bit? As we're talking, you know, people know that, yeah. that uh, there's a so period you, there we know. So are you locked up in a hotel room, then? Is there security around no, you? No, we, we, uh, we spend a lot of time in a place where we do the balloting, which we refer to as an undisclosed location. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that we don't really tell people where we are. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then we take a lot of security measures, both physical security measures mm -hmm. as well as others, to make sure that the secret really stays with us mm -hmm. and is never disclosed. So this is the actual briefcase? This is. This is, this is one of two briefcases okay. that carry the ballots. Um, we've been using this briefcase for about four years now. This will be the fourth year. And uh, there are 24 envelopes that we'll ultimately put in here that, that contain the winners for each of the categories. So. And is this like movie style where you'll handcuff it to <laughs> yourself to you know, the briefcase? We, uh, we actually, sleep with it. <laughs> I know. We actually we don't handcuff it to ourselves. Now, and part of the reason I get asked that a lot is, uh, well, are you worried that somebody's going to pull this out of your hand or, or take off with it? Um, we have armed security guards that walk with us yeah. down the red carpet and stand with us behind stage. And so with that, we don't really feel we need, uh, you know, handcuffs. So you walk the red carpet. You're a bit of a celebrity yourself, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about that, but um, it is one of the best jobs you can have, walking down the red carpet and, and doing interviews as, as we mm -hmm. walk down, talking about the balloting and talking about, you know, the process that we go through. You also have a lookalike. I do. I've, I've occasionally been told I, I resemble... Um, Matt Damon a little bit, um, yeah. and that's really not yeah, up to me to decide. But other other people may say that. Matt Damon's younger brother, I've heard. Younger's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like... that's that's good. <laughs> well, this has been a lot of fun talking with you, and we're oh, looking thanks. forward to seeing the Oscars. Great. It's on February 26th, correct? February 26th. So mm -hmm. tune in, and and you'll hear the results. So we'll see you on the carpet. You will. And maybe see you'll you peeking from behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I stand just off stage um, on one side and and the envelopes to uh, the presenter right before they go. So right. it's a well, great job. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.